Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to solve the 3x3 sliding tile puzzles in Sim Theme Park. The basic algorithm I'm going to use is that you, wa you effectively want to solve the top row, then the left column, and then let the other pieces just fall into place, which they should every time. Like I said, top row, get the top left piece into place. The next thing you're going to want to do is get uh, something like the top middle piece into the top right, and then get the top right piece right behind it, so you can slide those into place together. Uh, then for the left column, you're going to want to do something similar. Uh, you're going to want, for example, the left middle piece and the left bottom, and then get the left bottom piece uh, right behind it, so you can slide those into place together. And then you can see the other pieces just work out every time. You did it! You won! Congratulations! You might end up in positions like you saw when I was doing that last puzzle, where something like this, where the top right piece is already in place, and your instincts are gonna be saying, no, leave it there, it's part of a completed puzzle, but that's not right. You need to slide the uh, top pieces into place together or else it's just never going to work out. The same thing is happening right here, where I have the left middle piece into place already. I'm going to want to move it to the left bottom corner, and then get that corner tile in place next to it, and slide them in place together. You did it! You won! Congratulations! Once you do this a few times, it you start getting better at it. It makes a lot more sense. This is a very lucky one. That might be the fastest I've ever it. solved one you of these won. puzzles. Just Congratulations! From luck of the sliding, actually. You can still, of course, you know, get faster at this. This isn't some magic, fastest way to solve the, uh, the puzzle. There we go. Uh, it is still a little bit challenging, of course. You also end up in places like that, where you're trying to move tiles into place, uh, and one that you're, you end up with a tile that you're eventually going to want to move out of the way a little bit to get it closer into place, if that makes sense. You did it! You won! Congratulations! I want. There they are. Yeah, you can see it again here, where I want to move that there, but then the next thing I need to do is get the uh, left middle piece there, which doesn't work from where I am. So I need to move that left middle piece out of the way, and then move them together. You did it! You won! Congratulations! But yeah, I more or less learned this algorithm uh, pretty much earlier today. And you can see I'm still not like an expert at it, I still pause to look at the tiles. But overall, it's it's gotten so much easier than than it was before. I haven't failed a puzzle yet, which still happened sometimes in the past. Uh, yeah, that actually works out right there. Those work out. Yeah. You did it. You won. Congratulations. So yeah, main takeaway. Top left uh, piece, then finish the top row, finish the left column, the other pieces just slide into place. And also, for what it's worth, when you start getting better at this, uh, it also works to do the left column and then the top row, if you want to, you know, if you notice that the pieces work out nicely that way, that works just as well. The important, the most important thing is once you solve the top row or the left column or whatever you're starting with, don't move any of those pieces anymore. You don't need to do that. The thing that's so nice about this, this algorithm, is as you're solving the puzzle, it's getting smaller. And so you don't need to think about the whole thing anymore. Anyway, I, I hope that this uh, this helps some people with with this this puzzle.